In a remote, high desert region of what is now called New Mexico, there is a World Heritage Historical Park in a place called Chaco Canyon. Within Chaco Canyon, on a south-facing wall, an unusual curlicued petroglyph is among other carvings, all created by ancestral Puebloan people who lived here a thousand years ago. Modern Chaco visitors might liken this figure to a tick, spider, or flower, but some astronomers believe it could be an impression of a solar eclipse during totality, when we can see the outer atmosphere of the sun, called the solar corona. Certainty is impossible, but some features of this petroglyph suggest that it may be the oldest known visual representation of a solar storm in the corona. The descendants of the people who created this rock art still live in the Chaco region and still practice sun-watching traditions. These are the people of Acoma, Hopi, Zuni, and many other modern pueblos throughout the southwestern United States. Our native colleagues say that whatever the petroglyph's meaning, it was important to their ancestors and remains important today. Just a half mile to the south is Chaco's signature geographic feature called Fajada Butte. Its summit is home to the world-famous Sun Dagger. This spear of light through a spiral marked the June solstice, a period of peak sunlight, a time of tending crops and praying for rain. On this east-facing wall, just around the corner from the curly-cued petroglyph, there is another spiral, this one even larger than the Sun Dagger spiral. Each morning during the weeks before and after June solstice, a shadow drifts downward as the sun rises. The shadow is cast by Triangle Rock, a distinctive feature on the eastern horizon behind us. Day-to-day -day shifts in the position of sunrise on the horizon correspond with day-to-day -day changes in how the shadow interacts with the spiral. Chaco sun watchers could use both effects like calendars to predict the timing of solstice, the turning point between increasing and decreasing amounts of daylight. Both prior to and after the solstice, there is a morning when the apex of the shadow passes directly through the center of the spiral. During this passage, a sun watcher, viewing the horizon from the spiral center, observes the sunrise emerging right over the top of Triangle Rock. This horizon, along with other sun-watching sites used to track the seasonal cycle, may have supported the design of the Sun Dagger site. Chaco's rich sun-watching context strengthens a sun-related interpretation of the curlicued petroglyph. But there's more. There was, in fact, a total solar eclipse over the Chaco region on the 11th of July in 1097. The year 1097 was a time of peak human activity in the canyon and maximum solar activity on the sun. So when the moon totally covered the sun's disk during totality, it was more likely for Chaco residents to see signs of a storm in the glowing corona. Just as in 1097, the 2024 total solar eclipse occurs during a maximum in the sun's activity cycle. During the few minutes of totality, we have an extraordinary opportunity to commune across time, space, and culture with the Chaco Sun Watchers. We can be alert for a kink or curl in the coronal streamers that may signal the presence of a solar storm. As we gaze upon the corona, we can also connect with the NASA Sun Watchers the corona observing missions, some of which are flying within this still mysterious region of our sun. NASA exploration naturally extends our age-old dedication to observing and predicting the sun cycles. We are still learning how to live in harmony with the rhythms and mysteries of this star upon which all our lives depend.